My name is Jolene Chaldery. I was born in Tucson, Arizona. I came here, I've lived here in Texas and Austin for 10 years since my husband Zubair had to come here to University of Texas, so I followed him. Uh, when we first got married, I was, didn't work at the time. I loved it. I wish I could be a housewife again. But I read the Quran. I had an English version of one of the translation. And it made a lot more sense to me. And so I, I told my husband I wanted to become Muslim. We've already decided to raise our children Muslim. And my family was fine with that because we all believed in the same God. Try to get to fall <laughs> She was happy that I found God because when we were being raised, she didn't really take us, I, we were Southern Baptists. She didn't take us much to church at all. We didn't have much of a religious background, but my mom was very fine with that. And so was my grandma. And I told them pretty much the only main difference is we believed that Jesus was a prophet. We just don't believe that he was the son of God. I consider, even though I, I in my mind, I accepted Islam a long time ago. I just never had any formal teaching. My husband always told me I can go to the mosque anytime, but I felt uncomfortable going alone. And I knew they would probably ask me, well, where's your husband, where's your husband? And I was like, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to be in that uncomfortable situation. So my husband always told me I can go, but I never went. Someone went to the prophet and he asked him, who is the best person that I should honor? And the prophet said, your mother. So he asked that again. I went to was my very first teaching, or the very first learning experience for me for Islam. I just always believed it in my heart. Uh, after I read the Quran, that's how I considered myself a Muslim. I just didn't technically do it until I went to Bangladesh last year. When his family um, had us go over to meet them in Bangladesh, that's when I, I, I did, I said the words, and I got a Muslim name, uh, Miriam, which I haven't legally changed it, but there's quite a few nice ladies who helped me try to pronounce the words, and then I really honestly forgot them already. It's hard to remember and some of the words that they said in class. I remembered, oh, those were some of the words that I said earlier. Some say, you know, some Muslim women come across to will say covering, well, really it means covering internally, meaning modest, not physically on the outside, okay? And that's what they think it's not required because they, they make the translation out to be to cover, as hijab, and hijab means cover, is meaning internal cover, not the external cover, the outside. And this is wrong. And it's covering your hair all the time when you're out, I, I believe, to my, you know, that, that's, a lot of people think that's an attractive part. It's just being raised here in America, and we don't cover our head unless we're wearing a baseball hat, you know, or, or if we're having a bad hair day, you know, sometimes in the winter you can wear a scarf. But it's something that, that's natural to me not to cover my head unless I'm wearing a hat. Um, she gave some of the reasons that's because the men would be more attracted to us if we did take it off. And I think he can control that feeling and I can control the feelings too as well. Um, in a marriage you have faithfulness. It's just a matter of trust in a marriage. Just like any other marriage and any other religion, it's a matter of trust. I converted this person. What is this craziness? It's like, you know, no one converts anyone. It's very clear. The hadith says, because the prophet loved Abu Talha, someone gets killed. Oh, it was something that I chose. Yeah, yeah. Or he even talked to me about okay. something that I Yeah, chose. but he doesn't like, it's not like the crazy thing. That so that's why, I mean, I did it on my, my own. But of course, if I never met him, if I never would have married him, I probably would have stayed a Christian, of course, because why would I have become a Muslim if I didn't meet a Muslim man or become, you know, had an influence on it? He influenced me that way without even knowing that he influenced me. He didn't even know.